Hi, I'm Wendy Chung. I'm a molecular and clinical geneticist at Columbia University. And one of the diseases we've been studying for many years is a relatively rare condition called pulmonary arterial hypertension. Um, this disease, thankfully, is relatively infrequent because it actually is a, a pretty severely impactful disease. Um, and for most individuals, we actually don't know what causes their pulmonary hypertension. But in a few individuals, we actually know that there's a familial pattern, that is that we have two or more individuals that have this condition within a family. And in those individuals, we think there's a hereditary or a genetic aspect to this. Starting way back when, about 15 years ago, uh, my colleagues at Columbia, Robin Barst and Jane Moore, started becoming interested to see if they could try and find the genetic aspects that were underlying pulmonary hypertension with the idea that if we could understand what genes might cause this, we would understand better what was causing the disease to ultimately understand better how we might have come up with treatments or cures for the condition. So starting way back when, uh, they started looking at families and using some techniques that were available at the time called linkage analysis, which I won't go into great detail, but uh, looking at families for that, they were able to identify the first major gene for pulmonary hypertension, a gene called bone morphogenetic factor receptor 2. Um, for that particular gene, it accounts for about 70% of patients that have familial pulmonary hypertension, and interestingly, also about 20% of individuals who have what we call idiopathic pulmonary hypertension, or individuals who don't have a family history, they also have mutations in this gene, BMPR2. For many years, we've been looking at those other 30% or so of the families who clearly had a family history but didn't have a mutation in BMPR2 and trying to address what was causing their pulmonary hypertension. With the advent of uh, decreased cost in sequencing, so the ability to be able to sequence more for less, and the development of a methodology called exome sequencing, or looking at about the 2% of all of our genetic information that actually encodes the proteins that are involved in our bodies and the way they function and develop, we've been able to look comprehensively at what we think is most of the genetic information that ultimately causes human diseases by this methodology I referred to called exome sequencing. So we went back to many of our families with clear familial pulmonary hypertension that didn't have any mutations in the known genes for pulmonary hypertension and started sequencing those individuals and comparing them one to another, with the idea being that within a family, if multiple individuals had pulmonary hypertension, they should share some genetic factor that was ultimately causing their pulmonary hypertension. So we've done that for several of our families, and in fact, the most recent finding, uh, which is described in our paper in the New England Journal of Medicine, identifies a brand new gene that honestly we didn't know ahead of time was going to be so vital in terms of the way pulmonary arteries function. And this is a particular potassium channel called KCNK3, or also called TASC.